We knew that folks would come down hard on us if we ever stumbled, which is why the downfall was so shocking. When I assumed office, which was January of 1999, investment bankers were, to use Tom Wolfe's great phrase, masters of the universe. CEOs began to take everything they could, and ultimately that was going to destroy our economy. They literally were terrified at this guy coming after them. The New York Times and the Vice Governor Spitzer's mystery call girl as Ashley Dupree. I have acted in a way that violates my or any sense of right and wrong. Cheers erupted on trading floors as word spread of Governor Spitzer's stunning downfall. He announced publicly he's going to take me out as leader. This man really intended to destroy me. New York, New York. New York, New York. New York Confidential. Rocket fuel for winners. That's all it says. When you're sending a girl for $30,000 overnight, it doesn't feel like prostitution. <laughs> he showed up clearly trying not to be recognized. I'm like, don't tell me it's that guy again. Joe Bruno hired the country's most notorious dirty trickster, Roger Stone. Sure, I believe in the gonzo brand of uh, politics. Porter was told to look at client nine. He was enemy number one. The governor felt like he was under surveillance. Both Greenberg and Langone hired PR firms to go after Spitzer. You tell your buddy, I'm going to put a spike through his heart. And this is a tyrant. The man's entire life is a lie. These are the guys that got us to the brink of disaster. And Elliot Spitzer was after them years before the collapse occurred. There were all sorts of rumors about bringing me down. I brought myself there. We're at war. This is a war. Yeah.